Are you getting ready to take the Praxis 5436 General Science exam? Maybe I can help. My name is Derek Masiaga. I've been a high school science teacher for more than 10 years, and I'm a test prep expert with study.com. In this video, I'll walk you through everything that is on the test, how best to prepare, and my top five strategy tips. In short, we'll make sure you're as ready as possible for the big day. All right, let's jump in. Praxis 5436 tests whether you have the knowledge, skills, and abilities to teach general science with questions that cover the following categories. One, nature and impact of science and engineering, which takes up 15% of the exam at 20 questions. Two, physical science, which occupies 37% of the exam at 50 questions. Three, life science, clocking in at 26% of the exam with 35 questions and four, earth and space science, which spans 22% of the exam with 30 questions. About half the questions on the exam cut across the four categories and ask technical questions that incorporate one or more of the National Research Council's science and engineering practices. I'm not going to list all of them here, but include science practices like analyzing and interpreting data, using models, and defining problems. So for example, you'll see problems that ask you to analyze and interpret data in engineering, physical science, life science, and earth and space science. In addition, approximately one quarter to one third of the questions will assess your pedagogical ability to teach science, what the praxis calls the task of teaching science. So how long is the test and how is it scored? Praxis 5436 gives two hours and 30 minutes for the exam with 135 multiple choice questions, which the praxis calls selected response. This gives you a little over one minute per question. Most of the multiple choice questions will have a single correct answer, but some of these multiple choice questions will have one or more correct answers. You can identify these questions by the phrase, select all that apply. There are a few other types of questions that are less common, including some with click and drag elements and some with audio or video prompts. So strategy tip number one, Aim for about 50 seconds per selected response question so you have a cushion for harder questions. And strategy tip number two, skip questions if they are taking a long time. You can always come back to them later on, but you don't want to spend all of your time too early. So we have covered the basics, now let's dive into some test specifics. Praxis 5436 examines your knowledge of general science curriculum and measures whether you match state and national standards to teach the subject. You might encounter some questions regarding elements or conversion factors, but you won't need a calculator as everything you'll need to answer the questions, such as the periodic table, will be provided on the test. Let's talk about the four question categories. Here's what to expect. The first category, nature and impact of science and engineering, will broadly test your knowledge of the laws and theories that explain natural phenomena, the use of scientific method, such as research, hypothesizing, and analysis, and the appropriate use of scientific tools and materials. In addition, this category will examine your knowledge of the intersection between science, engineering, and tech, and how we use science to address issues like pollution, ozone layer depletion, and deforestation. Even if you know a lot about scientific phenomena, don't forget to study up on how human activity can cause environmental change. For example, you might be asked about the methods by which humans access geothermal energy and that method's impact on the environment. The second category, physical science, will examine your understanding of the principles of matter and energy, of chemistry, and of physics. In particular, you can expect questions relating to atomic structure and chemical compositions, conservation of energy, and solubility. In order to be as prepared as possible for the physical science section, make sure to refresh your memory on the written structure of atom configurations, and remember that you'll have access to the periodic table. In life science, the third exam category, you'll be tested on your knowledge of cell processes, evolution, ecology, and life diversity. More specifically, you should expect to answer questions about cell structure, the function of eukaryotic and prokaryotic cells, cell cycle phases, genes and alleles, and the evidence for evolution. Life science is a very complicated and complex subject, which means you'll really be tested on your interdisciplinary knowledge. In a complicated subject, we'll have a complicated quiz. Expect questions that have more than one answer. 
Lastly, the Earth and Space Science category will examine how well you know the solar system and its relationship to global events, such as the tides, the Earth and its basic process, like plate tectonics, and foundational meteorological concepts like cloud formation. Even though Earth and Space Sciences might sound like two different topics, pay close attention to how one might impact the other, such as how solar wind might cause blackouts on Earth, or how the theory of evolution affects our understanding of Earth's age. There's a lot of content here and not all of it about formulas, statistics, and factoids. Some has to do with teaching techniques and you'll need to figure out how each scientific fact will translate to classroom discussions, teaching goals, and big ideas. That's why my third strategy tip is to not only devote your time to answering selected response questions, but also to open-ended discussion questions so you can talk through your line of reasoning and better prepare yourself. And my fourth strategy tip is to discuss those open-ended discussion questions with a friend or mentor in the field. You'll need to combine different areas of knowledge to answer the questions on the Praxis 5436, so talking with someone else with a different specialty will only be helpful. If you need a list of discussion questions to get started, you can download one from praxis.ets.org. Look for the Praxis Study Companion General Science 5436 PDF document. The study companion is a great source of questions like, what are the characteristics of a scientific hypothesis? And what is the proper way to clean up a small spill of concentrated hydrogen chloride? The Praxis 5436 covers the full range of general science topics, so there's a lot to go over. It's the full range of science topics, and maybe it's been a while since you opened a physics textbook. So what's the best way to prep? We recommend starting with a full-length practice test. Study.com's test prep course offers multiple so that you can identify where you need to spend most of your study time. Don't worry about your score the first time around. You're just trying to figure out where you need to focus. Study.com will generate a study plan with top priorities for you. If you use other test prep materials, you may need to analyze your practice results manually. Watch lessons to review the topics in your study plan and do practice problems or make flashcards to transfer the material to your long-term memory. And that brings me to strategy tip number five, practice, practice, practice. There is no substitute for working through sample questions that mirror those that you will face on test day. Every practice question that you do is going to help you be that much more prepared. Need a concrete prep recommendation? I highly recommend Study.com's Praxis 5436 General Science Prep Course. It covers everything that I just went through, but in a ton more detail. The course, written and vetted by former teachers, also includes short form videos for every relevant concept and a bank of high quality practice questions with answer explanations. And what's more, users who complete the course have a 92% pass rate on the test. If this video helped you, check out the other videos in this and other series for more Praxis test prep. And please like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and hit that notification bell so you'll be the first to know when new teacher test prep content drops. Are there specific tests or questions that you want us to cover? Let us know in the comments. And don't forget to circle back once you have passed your tests so that we can all celebrate with you. Good luck!